So I went hiking this past weekend. Let me tell you what happened. Smell that. Minty. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, spear my baby. That's the old <laughs> <laughs> So recently I've been thinking about mental clarity. You see, with social media and the internet, I started to notice that I have been getting more and more brain fog lately. So you're here to find out how to develop mental clarity, right? Well, step one is disconnect. We're constantly scrolling through social media. We're constantly going through the internet, not realizing that we're being overly stimulated in our brain. And sometimes we need to disconnect in order to rewire our nervous system and remind us the real moment that's happening, the actual moment you have right now, breathing, thinking, or even watching this video. Don't get me wrong, I know it isn't easy, but it's definitely possible. We can put our phones on airplane mode, we can put our phones in a different room. Think about it, when was the last time you walked outside to the corner store or to go run an errand without your phone? It maybe might last 30, 20 minutes in order to do whatever you had to do, but you took your phone anyway because you were afraid that you were gonna get a text or a call. And the reality is, that is what's causing us to have this brain fog and this lack of mental clarity. Yeah! Now, this is where I believe the fun part begins. Let me tell you why. You see, step two has a lot to do with removing the constant thoughts and chatter that's in your head. The only way to truly do that, at least I believe that works wonders, is to write. You have to write in a journal. You gotta write out your thoughts. You gotta write out your ideas. And you'll notice that as you do this, not only will you be more focused in what you do throughout your day, but you'll have less thoughts in your head and you'll be more inclined to do the things that you wrote down in your journal. Journaling is so important. We all know this, uh, at some point we've all tried it, but we never really stay consistent with it. And here, in this video, I'm here to tell you how to. And it's asking yourself why you're starting in the first place. There's probably things you wanna do, things you wanna get done, projects you wanna start, creative adventures that you wanna go on, but you don't really plan them out, you don't really write them out, and whenever you're trying to do them on a whim, they never really flush out. So. If you write them down, you have a physical representation of the ideas, thoughts, and things you want to do in real life. And that will make you more inclined to actually do them, especially if you look at that journal every single day. And third is definitely reading books. This is so important. You have to understand that we are so not used to reading books anymore. Knowledge is becoming so easily acceptable <laughs> that we can't even recognize what's real and what's not. We're constantly being thrown information through the internet and social media. And the reality is, is that everybody on the internet has an agenda or a side that they are on. But when it comes to reading, you're able to not only dig deeper into topics that you are interested in or things that you like, but it also allows you the ability to be away from your computer or your phone, read actual words that were written or printed on a page, and also get rid of the mind clutter that you have of all these thoughts because you're reading. So, then now that you've made it all the way here, I hope that some of these ideas or tips or steps that I give you are worth it. You can try one of them or you can try all of them at the same time. But I wanna leave you with this. Not only are these tips beneficial because I'm starting to do them as well, but one of the things that I recognize is sometimes in order to truly disconnect, we need to go out in nature. This hike that I went on was not only a breath of fresh air, but it also reminded me that living in boxes, in cities, congested, and with so much noise, isn't necessarily the most natural way human beings should be living. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a city boy at heart, but I do recognize the beauty and the importance of being out in nature and living in rural areas. And with that being said, my name is Miguel Reyes, aka Cozy Boy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. We're out here. It's great. Mental clarity for the win.